Hello and welcome to this quick demonstration of this Netizen app for Windows 8. The idea behind this app is really simple. It brings the voting record of your congressional representative uh, to you in the form of this app. And before I give you a tour of the app, uh, let me show you this uh, website which also contains all of the voting records but then you have to go find that website and in fact let's just go ahead and, and go to that website so this is the office of the clerk of the US House of Represent Representatives and uh, I need to find which Congress I'm looking um, for here and right now uh, 113th Congress is in session and if I click on it it shows me uh, a summary of all the bills that came to the floor of the house and then I have to click this link and this bring back an XML file and then I have to search through which representative and how did they vote on the floor of the house. So the idea behind this app uh, that we have developed is to make it really easy for you to find this information, essentially bring this information to your fingertips. So, uh, as you can see here, um, Congress adjourned on January 14th and uh, just before they adjourned, they voted on Bill HR 219, uh, which is uh, to improve and streamline disaster assistance for Hurricane Sandy. So, with this information in mind, let's just go back to the app here and I'm going to launch this app. It is installed on my machine. And the first thing it is going to do, it is going to ask me for a state. And as you will, you will see shortly, there are multiple ways of finding your representative. The easiest one is go select a state from the map. So I'm going to go select the Texas state and it is going to bring me back all the representatives from Texas. At this point, I can now simply uh, select a representative and get the votes that they, are, they have cast. The other way I can find a representative is uh, is using my location. And as if you see in the bottom right, if I click on locate my district, it is going to use my location information to figure out which congressional district I'm in currently. And I'm recording this demo from the 11th district in Virginia. And the representative is uh, uh, Mr. Gerald Colony. And if I click on, on representative Colony's uh, Connolly's um, photograph here, uh, it brings up the the bills and the votes he has cast. Uh, and I said earlier, I show you the top 10 and here's the HR 219 that we talked about. And if I like how Representative Connolly voted, I can go select a vote and this brings up the like button. And let me click the like button. And this is going to bring up a Facebook page and we will talk about this shortly this app actually has uh, a server side component as well which is running as Azure websites and for every bill that comes to the floor of the house and for every house of representative we provision a Facebook page so in this case uh, Gerald Conley uh, Virginia 11th district and the the bill is HR 219 I can go ahead and like or not like this page and motivate my friends and neighbors to vote on this bill as well. Uh, before we uh, leave this app, I just wanted to show you one other very quick thing. Uh, I showed you how you can click on a state or you can find your representative using location information. You could also use the Windows 8 charms uh, to find information as well. So I'm going to look for uh, representative with the name Thompson and it is going to go find and bring me uh, all the representatives in the House of uh, Congress uh, who have the name Thompson in it. I can go uh, click on, on one of the representatives and it is going to bring back this information. Okay, so that concludes the app portion of this video. I want to very quickly also show you the Azure website uh, that uh, is powering this application. So essentially what is happening is uh, I have um, you know a bad job that runs every few hours. It goes and collects the data from the US Congress office and brings it uh, to an Azure 
storage table and if I open up this Azure Management Studio which is giving me a view of all my tables and there's a table called bills where we store all of these bills and how uh, representatives are voting we store all of that information in, in, in table storage here. In addition let me also show you uh, the Azure website uh, so here is the netizen.azurewebsites.net see up at the top uh, this is this is um, uh, the website which is using web API uh, to look up information from the table that we just saw and uh, expose it as a web API method which is what our Windows 8 application is calling so the last thing I, I that remains to be talked about is uh, how is the bad job running uh, how uh, are we able to execute that uh, periodically uh, and you're probably wondering because Azure websites today don't have a batch capability uh, mobile services just added batch capability but Azure websites do not have batch capability and and what we do here is we use one of the cron job facilities in this case we are using the set cron job and uh, we can just specify a URL and that cron job calls our URL which is a, a web API method every few hours and then at that point uh, that triggers a data upload and if there is a change uh, if there's a new bill uh, we go and grab that data store in table storage uh, and in fact uh, every time we process uh, new bills we use SendGrid uh, which is available in Azure Store to send an email just letting us know that the data was indeed processed and in fact uh, let me just show you this this email that I received from SendGrid which tells me that you know on 14th I processed these many votes and uh, my data upload was successful so I hope uh, you you found this uh, explanation and this app useful I encourage you to go install it it is available for free uh, in the Windows 8 store. Thank you.